T check gear check <laughs> what's up guys welcome to a very sad indoor studio episode I was planning on doing this somewhere else you know I do most of my episodes outside but um, I live in the Gila National Forest in southwest New Mexico and it is on fire right now and yeah that happens a lot but it happens a lot more lately and it's way worse so this thing is like I think around a hundred thousand acres now burned of our beautiful forest and it's about 30 miles from my house so it's just not pretty <laughs> so we're doing a studio episode so quick psa please don't light fires if you go camping in the southwest <laughs> anytime soon please all right enough depression <laughs> let's hop into a happier note with some gear and gadgets and stuff that i just love to use uh, accessories for my mobile photography stuff. So if you're new to the channel, I don't, I do everything. I don't do just mobile photography. I'm a professional photographer. Um, I use big cameras behind me and all that stuff, but I use whatever camera I can. And that's what I try to help you guys with is being creative no matter what you have. And phones these days are great. I have uh, the S22 Ultra. I've done a few videos already about you know how I use it and and um, the, doing the Milky Way and Astro and landscape photography and stuff like that. So you can check those out if you're interested in the hows, you know, the technical stuff of you know using the cameras and stuff. But this is just going to be about all the things that help me get the kind of shots that I do. You know, the long exposures, the Astro, the star trails, the the long waterfall shots, all that kind of stuff with the phones. Uh, I, I need a little help, you know, and these things just make it easy none of this is sponsored in any way shape or form by anybody um, these are all just products that i have that i own that i use and some of them might be brand specific when i'm talking about whatever and some of them are just generic things that you know as long as they're good quality or whatever it doesn't really matter what brand you use so there's zero um zero monetary influence on this video at all and if you do like the stuff that i do and you want to help support the channel then you know i have presets and memberships and workshops and just that like button is the best thing you can do all right so let's get into it first thing for the s22 ultra specifically is the case so traditionally with all my other phones uh, for at least the past few years i've been using the moment cases and i like i still love the moment cases However, they did not make a case for the S22 Ultra. And the Moment cases have the little uh, clippy things so that you can uh, clip in like their little filters, you know? So this is a tiny little Moment filter and you can see the back thingy and it's for their lens too. And uh, on all their other phones, they have the little thingies that just is built into the case and it just clips in and then you have it, you know, sitting like that. And that was traditionally in the past, that was really handy, especially if you have like, if you want to use their, their lenses, um, lenses, phone lenses these days are kind of going out third party lenses because we have so many built in. Now we have the telephoto, we have the ultra wide, you know, we have really great lenses, but moment still makes like uh, the anamorphic and the macro, you know, some specialty lenses that would have been nice. And they do have a, uh, they have a clippy thing somewhere. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, so they have this clippy thing and that's generic. So it'll work universal. It should theoretically work on any phone. I find that it doesn't fit that well on here it doesn't so i don't like it that much for this it, it, I, it would work in a pinch if you needed something like that anyways i got sidetracked uh back to the case so i switched cases and i got the peak design case and this i can tell you right now this is by far my favorite new case um i like the moment cases but I like the Peak Design case more. I like the way it feels. And more importantly, I like the integration with the Peak Design mobile system, the, all the accessories that they've created. And they have a lot of photography and non-photography related accessories, but I'm not gonna go into the non-photography stuff. They have 
you know, like the desk uh, mounty magnetic charger thingy and and the um, their little magnetic wallet charger thingy. And it, it's nice because it has this little stand. So if you need to prop it up or whatever, but that stuff's not really photography stuff. They have the car mount thing, which I love, but again, not photography related. So I'm not going to spend any time on that. Just know that there is a, a pretty wide range of accessories that Peak Design makes. And I'm very, very happy with them so far. But let's talk about the stuff that uh, I do use for photography related purposes for Peak Design since it does re revolve around their case. So the case has the case has this, this little square thing and that's the magnetic bit. And it's akin to the MagSafe uh, that you see on the iPhones and stuff. But they have, so th let's start with this guy. They have this little tripod uh, thingy, this little tabletop and it just, ow, it just mounts right on, I'll put it backwards. It just mounts right on and then you can leave it on if you want, it, it does obviously make your phone a little bulkier and heavier, but fits in my pocket fine. Um, but it just, let me, it just like that. And then it just folds out super easy. And now I have a perfect little tabletop tripod that I can orient however I want. And this is really handy in a pinch, you know, obviously it's, it's short, so you don't, if, if you're out in the field or whatever, out and about like I am, in, you know, in the mountains or the desert or just, um, you're going to be relegated to putting this on the floor, on a rock, on a bag, you know, whatever you have, it's going to be low, but it's better than nothing. You know, I've used it quite a few times to get some astro shots or some behind the scenes filming or whatever, you know, and this has been clutch. And I, I just generally keep this separate in one of my side pockets or something. Um, I don't keep it on the phone, but I do keep this usually on my persons uh, because it's just easy to deal with. So the next thing is this guy. And this is my next favorite item. So this is their creator kit. And what I love about it is that right there. So that is an Arca Swiss plate. And this is the MagSafe plate and the it clips in there. There are other MagSafe things like, you know, Moment makes some and, and whoever else, and I'm sure there will be many more third-party companies as time goes on. But so far, I mean, this thing will not come off. And I have done other tests similar to this with other things, and the phone has fly, flown off, flied off, flown off. Um, but that's because they have this little separate, this little clippy bit right there and you have to put that down to undo it so it it has the magnetic bit but then it has the extra little clippy thing that goes inside there and I just think that tiny little fail safe for something like this is genius and uh, well you can see the you can see the clippy bits you can see them moving as I clip it so they Kind of like a lens cap but more secure you know and that sound is satisfying you know that it's locked in it's not coming off and then um, the fact that this is an arca swiss plate that's adjustable the plate feels the plate's plasticky and feels more cheap than the rest of the metal stuff which is unfortunate but um, if it keeps costs down and if it if it's good quality hard plastic i guess it's fine i haven't had any problems with it lately but that enables me to put this on very quickly onto a tripod. And I'll just go ahead and mention, so a tripod is one of my next things. Again, this, the tripod is something that, um, the brand doesn't matter to me. All that matters is that you have, I look for certain things in a tripod, whether it's for phones or for my big boy cameras, it doesn't matter. Um, I like either all metal or carbon fiber, something strong that can handle the weight. Um, I like something that is easy to deal with and clean and, you know, um, so legs are important, leg height they're important, is important to me. This is my Mi Photo backpacker and it's really light. I like it a lot, it's carbon fiber. 
uh, and it's really small. So this thing will fit inside of a day bag. It will fit in a water bottle pouch. It will fit um, just very easily. It's very light. It's under three pounds. I can hold it easily. Um, I've just got just a cheapo Benro head, but it's you know regular. You can put any head on here you want, which is fantastic. These Arca Swiss are what I use pretty much on all of my tripods in some fashion. I have many different types of Arca Swiss, but let's just uh, throw this on here real quick. So having the ability to put this on. Okay, so we're good there. I'm just trying to see if this is in frame. It's a little tall, but then just being able to boom, it's on, that's it. And then now I can adjust it via the ball head or whatever, you know, and that's just to me for the type of photos I do having this be interchangeable with everything, uh, with all of my mirrorless cameras and stuff and bigger cameras, this right here is clutch for me and as is having a good tripod. But like I said, um, it doesn't matter, you know, what brand, just make sure, you know, you get something quality because tripods are important for being able to hold whatever you're putting on them. That tripod will also hold my mirrorless uh, in certain situations, you know, and it's very good for backpacking, light tripping, you know, uh, day tripping, stuff like that for all of my cameras. I, I don't, always like to take my bigger camera or bigger tripods with me. So that's a really great little travel in the, the Benro or the Mi Photo, uh, whatever. So uh, a couple other things, like I said, this isn't brand specific. You know, the Peak Design stuff is brand specific, obviously, because I'm talking about Peak Design. But if you don't have an S22 Ultra and you don't have the Peak Design, I do believe they're making cases for S21s and S22 models. So check out their website. I'll have the link for that stuff down below. Um, but if you don't have one of their supported models and you just have a regular case or whatever, something like this is really great. I really love this one. It's light, it's fast, um, and it's metal, it's solid. So what's great about this is this is also, this bottom plate is also a uh, Arca Swiss plate so it will fit in the same tripod very easily and it folds up and just like that and you can keep it in your pocket or in your bag or a purse or whatever you're carrying uh, so something like that is very handy this this one is made by Ulanzi so like I said some of that stuff the brand doesn't matter just I when I'm looking for it I'm looking for a nice metal construction slim design compatibility with other stuff that I use like the Arca Swiss uh, so those are, and there's, I have another one, there's varying types of them. This one's a little more bulky, but it does offer, um, this one has the hingy bit. So a little more flexibility for whatever you need. Um, you know, just get something that fits whatever tripod and stuff you have there. All right, next up for some mobile videography that I tend to do. Some sort of gimbal uh, is good. So this one, I've had this one for a while now. This is the Smooth X. And I've been pretty happy with it. Um, it's not a three axis gimbal like some of the other fancy ones. So it's not as fancy, but it it is quite portable. You can see, I mean, this could fit in my pockets. I have pretty big pockets, but it'll easily fit in a bag or whatever. And it's pretty light. so. Just having a gimbal there if you need those, you know, walking. I like to do the hyperlapses and stuff and, um, or just if all of these cameras are busy doing stuff and I still need a vlog, you know, having that there uh, in the bag is great. It doesn't take up too much space. Uh, next up, you can't really do photography or, or videography if your phone is dead. So I always have some sort of battery. This is my anchor battery. This is the the bigger one, like 21,000 something milliamp hours. Uh, so it'll charge all of this stuff. Like it'll, it'll charge the gimbal. Uh, it'll charge the phone many, to many, many, many times, <laughs> which is great to always have on hand, especially if I'm doing longer stuff like time lapses and I'm doing like out all night and I'm doing the star trails and stuff, 
you know, it's good to make sure you have a backup power pack for your phones. All right, let's segue into what I think is the last thing. And that for me is lights. And this is for the S22 Ultra, you know, if you guys seen my Milky Way uh, video or the landscape stuff or whatever, you know that I do a lot of like light painting with astrophotography and, and obviously for filming too, like if I'm vlogging or whatever and it's dark, um, or if I'm filming with the S22, this is non-specific to the S22 or to the brand, but I happen to use Loom Cubes and I absolutely love them. So this is their Loom Cube Air. And this is just kind of one of their tinier ones. And they're handy to keeping, they're magnetic too, so you can clip them onto anything that is metal. Um, you know, so that's nice being able to hang it off stuff and whatnot. Panels, I use the panels a lot. I have lots of panels and I use them for different types, you know, um, being able to, being able to get different colors with your lights. So this is great for, I mean, these are really soft if I back them up and I need just actual light for filming a video or whatever, whether I'm using a phone or a regular camera. Um, but what I like is that now I have the option to do any color that I want. So you, I mean, you can see that changing and these things are great. This is the panel go RGB and then the panel pro and the panel mini the panel mini is not an rgb but i love it it just fits really well these kind of things always having one or two of those in the bag or in your pocket or whatever if you need to do portraits and you want to add you know some different kind of lighting uh product photography if you do astro photography like i do or night type night type landscape nightscape <laughs> nightscape photography and you want to light up something in landscape for some different colors or whatever so a lot of this stuff, you know, the S22 Ultra is a camera and a lot of this stuff is just camera generic, um, but I just love having it around no matter what I'm shooting with. So hopefully that helps you just give you an idea of, you know, the kind of stuff you can do with the phone, uh, with this phone specifically, and some of these, you know, more phone specific attachments and then some of the more generic things for photography in general. But that's how I roll. Those are the kind of things that I use. Um, I'm really digging the mobile photography moving forward. It's just putting this kind of stuff in people's pockets and giving them the ability to create in ways that we couldn't as easily do before. Uh, I just think it's wonderful. It's a great tool for your photography arsenal. So don't forget about your phones and the capabilities that they have. You know, don't think that you're limited to just DSLRs and mirrorless and cinema cameras and all that. There's a time and a place for everything, but you know, the best phone, the best camera you have is the one that you have on you. So if you have any questions about any of the gear that I went over uh, or anything like that, leave those in the comments below and I will definitely answer them. Hit that like button for me if you made it this far. I super appreciate it. That's the best thing you can do for this channel. Um, also, one more reminder, please don't light fires. <laughs> I love this earth and yeah, I just don't want to see it burn down. I'm very sad right now looking out my window watching 100,000 acres of my beautiful forest burn down. With that being said though, I do have some more mobile photography videos coming up. I have some phone challenges and a couple of other videos that I'm gonna be doing with the S22. So stay tuned for those. There'll be more of that stuff coming up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.